welcome to the current office that is going to hopefully be my craft room quite a lot of work to do over here we have my lovely desk i got this second hand i love the leather top to it so i really want to try and incorporate this into the room going with the kind of industrial look i think the wood will still fit well um this is our scratch map we scratch off where we've gone as a couple since we've been married got a lot of the uk still to do i think we're gonna have to move that one might keep my tequila rose upcycled lamp a bit wonky at the moment let me just straighten that up um got the printer we need to find a new home for somewhere in here guitar and piano that will probably go out into the garage because that is my husband's musical stuff washing that will have to be moved and then we've got two bookcases one here one behind the door that you can see we're going to move one downstairs and probably still keep one upstairs um just for some kind of art books and for anything else you can see my love of philippa gregory there and twilight um so yes so this is basically where we're starting from um a lot of junk that needs to be cleared out quite a lot of work to do um realistically i don't think we're going to be able to repaint yet so that's going to have to stay green for now um might repaint it just to be completely white at some point but not a priority so yes i just wanted to give a quick starting point before the hopeful transformation so now it's day two of the studio makeover so friday was the day where i took all of the books off the shelf and you can see one bookshelf has now gone that's gone downstairs and the sideboard is upstairs and um, that was on friday and then we had some friends stay over the weekend and i was at work yesterday today's tuesday so my mission today is to go through the desk um uh, you can't see yet but i will give you a tour in a minute um the desk is moved from the corner to over here I'm going to go through all the drawers and um, probably a load of mess in there. I want to try and clear out as much room as I can because obviously I've got to remove all of my art supplies over from the shed into here. Um, and I also need to go through that other bookcase. Um, I've done the top bit, as you can see there. Um, that's mainly got um, some of my husband's music books and some Bibles and things like that. Um, but I want to try and clear at least one total shelf um, for art supplies. And then obviously there'll be like packaging supplies and just some kind of notebooks and stuff. So I need to sort out that as well. Um, so that's the plan for today. And then I've got to, I'm at work tomorrow and I'm on, on a course on Thursday. And then Friday, um, it's just kind of a general kind of life admin day. So I probably won't get much sorting done on Friday. Um, I might get some art done, which would be nice. Um, but then on Saturday, um, my husband and I are going to Bristol. 
initially we were going to get the desk from ikea but we've actually found because we're on a quite a tight budget actually um, this is a budget makeover we don't have much money um really the only big piece of furniture that we are buying is the desk like i said that's why we're reusing the sideboard from downstairs and things like that um we actually found that we found a cheaper desk on argos um argos in england i don't know if they have those and yes i don't i think it is just england with argos um but there is like a l-shaped corner desk i'll show you in a moment but we've actually masking taped the dimensions on the floor just to make sure that it would fit we are going to go to ikea first just to make sure there wasn't any other desks but all the desks in our price range didn't have much storage um i really want storage but those were storage were kind of over our price range you kind of think that ikea is always going to be the cheapest but it actually isn't always um so that's something i've learned you always think oh i just go to ikea do shop around because like i said we found this really nice desk on um argos for cheaper um so we're going to hopefully pick that up as well on 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 saturday um we won't be putting it get together until next week um just kind of time wise um but yeah but the, my aim is um to get this sorted today and then next week on the friday so in a week's time we'll have the desk put together and then we'll move all of my stuff from the shed to here and hopefully i will be able to do a final tour um so yes it's a bit tricky because both my husband and i are still working at the moment um like i said before little one isn't with us yet um there's been some delays in the court system anyone who's had any experience with social workers or the legal system in general knows that there's a lot of hold-ups um so we're both still working at the moment so i'm doing this whilst working so which is why it's taking a bit of time but I'm really excited. I'm really excited so far. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to give you a quick um, tour in a minute of what's so far. But there's basically bags and stuff everywhere. Um, so I'm going to be doing that this morning, sorting out the desk, sorting out the bookcase. And whilst I'm doing that, I'm going to be listening to Lee Ellickson's podcast. I'm one of her Patreons. Um, I love her podcast. I, to be honest, I've listened to, um, I was previously um, Patreons of um studio meggie and apple cheeks as well and i love their podcasts as well financial reasons i now at, only at the moment can afford to be the Alexons patreon but i'm hoping um to go back on to other people's patrons in the future and i really want to my aim as well once i start getting hopefully a bit of income um from the art side of things um I really want to pay it forward to kind of find um, smaller artists with less followers and things um, to join their Patreons and pay it forward. Um, that's my long term goal, but financially I'm not there yet. Um, so, you know, but what you can do is watch their YouTube videos because obviously they get um, um, revenue from that as well. So it's a way to support small businesses and shop small if you can um so i'm gonna be listening to lee's um podcast day i've got my water so following lee's advice um so staying hydrated whilst i'm sorting um i might film um a little bit of a time lapse um but i find that quite distracting um i don't know about anyone else who makes videos when you're you're conscious that somebody's watching you um so you don't get fully engrossed in sorting out which is maybe a good thing because i have a habit I don't know if anyone else does this when you're sorting out you find something really interesting you haven't seen in years and then i'll find myself just sitting there looking through it whether it's a photo album or a book or a notebook reading through what i wrote and you know half an hour's gone i'm just sat there looking at it um so i guess it's good motivation in some ways other ways a bit of a distraction but i'll hopefully do um a little bit but let me just give you a quick um squeeze around the room I'm trying to get used to stop calling it office, but start calling it a studio because obviously that's where it's going to be. Um, but yeah, let me just grab the camera and flick the screen around so you can see. So this is the mask and tape area that I was telling you about. You can't really see it because I've got loads of stuff over it. Um, that is my bunny doorstop that my mum got me. Um, so that is so it's like like you can see here it's a bit of an l shaped so it's just going to have like a plain desk here and it's almost got a bit of cube storage that goes underneath so there'll be four cubes there um so that'd be quite cool and then you can see we've got a bit of a space between um where the desk is going to end and obviously where the sideboard is so i'm hoping i've got one of the um a little art trolley that i hope i'm going to put there this is the sideboard from downstairs which has now got the printer on it and a bunch of stuff I need to sort out. 
window. And then here is the desk that we moved from the corner. That's just previously in the corner, if you remember. This is where the computer's going to go. Kind of a rough setup at the moment. Obviously, not much at the moment. And then here is just the one remaining bookcase now. And actually, that fits quite nicely behind the door. When we shut the door, let me show you. Move my chair out of the way. Um, so when the door's fully back, it completely covers that bookcase. So it is purely here. It doesn't have to look the prettiest or the tidiest, as you can see. Not really that tidy at the top. Um, but again, great storage. So this is where we are at the moment. I'll show you a bit more of a wider view if I go out the door slightly. This is what it looks like currently in the sorting process slowly but surely getting there haven't moved obviously the artwork around on the walls yet so uh let's pop the podcast on and get sorting <laughs> Okay, so we've made a little bit of progress here. We've got two desk drawers so far that are completely empty and ready for art stuff. I've got two sideboard drawers that are completely empty. Didn't manage to get a full shelf, um, but there are a little bit of room. There is a bit, a little bit of room on there. So it looks a lot more tidier than it did. Well, kind of. Um, so yeah, I think I'm pretty much done for this morning I've got a couple of bags down here that one and that one of books to go to our local community bookshop to be donated so yeah this is where we are at the moment um I'll probably check back in with you guys on Saturday I'll take you with me when we go to Bristol to Ikea um and also when we go back to Argos as well um probably not a lot much will be happening though until next week. to show you what we've picked up from Bristol. So in the last clip you would have seen us getting this one from Argos. Um, Argos is a great place because you can order it online and then just pick it up from their kind of like depot. Um, so there we go, we've got the desk there ready to be put up. And then from, um, so a couple of these bits are actually from Primark. Um, so I got these baskets, this was five pounds. So it's a set of three baskets and they're kind of, um, pastel colour so I thought that would be quite good for pens or for paints um, and I also got this um, ring light from Primark £4 which is a bargain because I was originally going to get a ring light and a phone holder just to make this kind of thing a bit more easier from Ikea and that was like 37 quid, which is a hell of a lot of money so instead I've got this one £4 from Primark and then I just got from Ikea with their standard little phone holders and um, that was like three quid maybe um so saved a hell of a lot of money on that 
Um, also got some glasses for the kitchen from, from Ikea. That's not for in here. Um, and I also got this. This is actually a lamp. This is a light. Um, so I thought that'd be quite cool for on the desk. Um, so a light that I can actually angle over my art when I'm doing it. This was like five quid. Again, there are bargains in Ikea, but I do feel that you do need to be a bit careful because not everything is cheap, like that ring light phone holder. Um, bulbs for that light. Um, and I got this one now. I try not and buy stuff just because I see them on YouTube videos of other artists. Um, but I have to admit, this is one of those things that I have seen and I got because of that, because I've seen how people um, store their prints. Um, I think it's really helpful when you're packaging. Um, also, if you're doing art markets, I want to look at trying to do some art markets this year. So this might be handy. Um, but I also thought it might be quite good, you know, when you're doing prints and you need to watercolours and you're waiting for the different layers to dry. This might be quite a good way of doing that as well. Um, these were really difficult to find in Ikea though. Because you see them on the shelves everywhere, holding up the planes, but there wasn't actually any with tags on to sell. I think we got literally got the last one. It was super busy there yesterday. You probably saw that from the clips. Um, oh, this is something just for my bedroom as well, just a, one of those mirrors. Um, when you go to Ikea, you've got to make the most of it. Again, freezer bags for the kitchen, food bags. The last bit I got from in here was super super heavy again something you've probably seen on loads of youtubers videos is i'll bring it up these little drawers um you saw me probably looking at those in one of the clips from ikea can't remember if i filmed it i think i did um so it's a metal kind of storage drawers um i've seen them and then i when i looked at it in in real life actually i can see why people do get them because they're really good for keeping your print nice and flat um so yes that's my little haul from ikea so plan for this week will be putting up the desk and moving everything over from my shed so i probably won't film any of that because it'll probably take twice as long if i do so next time i see you um it will be the new studio tour so um i'll show you one last glimpse of the office slash studio as it is now with everything everywhere and hopefully it will be a little bit tidier next time I see you. done um it became quite overwhelming at times moving everything out of the shed but i'm so glad that it's in here um it's safe to say it is a bit more cluttered than i would like so this is definitely a work in process progress this is definitely not a final studio tour um i expect to do probably an updated one in a couple of months once i've settled in um it was just a matter of trying to get everything over from the shed for now um, but now everything's close to hand, it's in the house, so I'm more likely to come up and do art during the day, um, on my days off and at weekends and evenings. Um, I'm going to figure out what I like doing, um, what I use most, and then hopefully I'll be able to streamline what's in here and it'll look a bit more tidier. So apologies that it does look a bit cluttered at the moment. It's like I said, it's, it's a bit more cluttered than I would like. Um, but I'm just so happy that it's in here and it's done. So let me give you a quick tour of the main areas, mainly the desk. Um, but I'll give a 
quick overview of the rest of the room. I will put in the description where I've got the stuff from Ikea and Argos, the name of things, um, but I'll try and point it out as much as possible. So this is my desk area. This is the desk that came from Argos. As you can see, it's kind of L-shaped with those cube storage there. Um, it's quite full down there in the cube storage. So once we won't spend too much time down there because I managed to cram everything in, but I am pleased with how it looks. So we've got here, um, oh, there's me, hello. Um, this is a, a piece of art that I've had for quite a while. It's from an artist down in Devon. I got this from Cockington. Um, you can see the artist mark there. Um, it's one of those paintings that you kind of get lost in. A um, couple of little wall hangings here. And I've got my notice board. This is a notice board from Sophie Allport. On here we have a postcard that was from my church. This little um, piece of fabric, printed fabric here, is very important to me. That has been with me since I was at school. Um, I got it on a trip to London to the V&A um, Gallery uh, Museum. Um, so I picked it up there and it's travelled with me ever since. I've never found what to do with this bit of fabric, but I love him. So he's here. Got my little Lunar Isle badge. Um, just some swatches that came out of a watercolour set. Random butterfly clip, not sure where that came from. This is a little um, watercolour postcard that I did as part of one of my big pieces in college. Um, this is a print from The Lettering Tree. Um, really cool little business. Um, I go to church with um, Jasmine, who is from The Literate Lettering Tree. I go to church with her mum, Helen. Um, this is a cool artist. Um, I will show her business card properly. Um, so here, Smell Oliver, she does really cool um, illustrations that can be made into stickers and, and stuff. I think I've got some of her stickers on here. Here we are. Here are some of her stickers. Really shiny, really thick and durable. Be curious, joy is a practice, and go where you grow love those stickers so i keep her little business card up here because i really like her work um again another watercolor that was by me that's um of glastonbury abbey and down here we have another business card of a local artist here you can see that the sun worshippers club ceramic studio um and she this local artist made this really cool ceramic palette and brush holder that I've got here. It's really, really nice. You can tell. I love seeing all the finger marks of how it's handmade. She actually made makes these in her spare bedroom. So I'll put her details below because um, she's a really cool local artist. And here we have my little donkey from the Donkey Sanctuary. His name is Hugo. You can see there. You all know by now that I'm a massive fan of Donkey Sanctuary, so he's there. These are just drawers that are quite empty at the moment, so I plan, hopefully, to start making some stickers at some point, and that's where I'm going to keep those. On this here, I've got my salt lamp. I got this from my husband for Christmas. Um, well, it was from my parents, but my husband ordered them, ordered it online for them. <laughs> so really, it was him. Um, these are some swatches from sticker app which is a company i hope to be using for my stickers that i have yet to design and yet to order so hopefully all that process will be up in the coming videos but um i got a sample pack just to see what type of um stickers i could have and different backgrounds and things so that's quite cool just a quick overview of my desk i have a pink cutting mac here this is from amazon see that's my sketchbook you saw in the previous video um I have a little pin cushion here I got from a local garden centre. That's for when I do embroider at my desk. This little water pot is from a local artist. This mug I got given for Christmas by one of my friends. And as with this little tray, that's from um, my husband Stephen for Christmas. I thought they'd go really well together. Just a little pot there. So I might, I'll probably use that as a little bit of a paint palette there. Cute little penguin sharpener. I just got that from like a little local stationery shop. 
washi tape holder. You can get those on Amazon dead easy. Um, I can't quite remember where all these washi tapes are. I know this one here is from a company called Illustrated Faith. And I think this one is from Holy Hope. I am going to tag both of those below because um, I think they are from there. If not, you can get something very similar. So I think that's where I got those from. Little memo pad that I got from my in-laws. Picture of me, my mum and my gran. Speaker. There's the pink glue gun. And here is the five pound lamp that I showed you from Ikea. Now this corner here is quite, quite busy. Um, at the back there you can see some of my big brushes in a chipped Emma Bridgewater milk jug. There's the brush stand, again that was featured in my first video of my art haul from Christmas. This is my favourite little jelly cat plant plushie. Very cute there, he sits in here. This um, pink organiser is from Ikea, I got it ages ago so it wasn't in my recent haul but it is from Ikea. At the back here, I just keep some of my old sketchbooks. I've got a watercolour pad, some tracing paper. I get all of my glues in here, odds and ends. And this is one of those baskets that I got from Primark. I've just put my um, Holbein um, acrylic um, gouache in there. And these are the drawers that I showed you from Ikea. Eventually, these are going to hold my prints, but for now, they just hold a bunch of random stuff. I have this really cute little paper cutter from Amazon and of course it's in pink because I love pink. My little Insta camera, I've had that for quite a while now. The ring light that came from Primark for the grand total of £4 and my little phone holder there. At the back you can see a picture of me and my parents when we went to Egypt. And there is a candle that I got for giving for Christmas. So that's a quick overview of my desk. Um, I just want to also show you my gallery wall. Down here we've got a trunk. Again, this is going to be my packing supplies down here. For now, it's just got a bunch of random stuff in there. My little um, pegboard and my easels. And here is my pride and joy. This is my gallery wall. So happy with how this turned out. So I'll give you a quick tour of this. Um, still turned to January. Should really turn that to February now. But um, I love this picture. It's from Jessica Smith Illustration. She's a local artist to me. She lives in Bath. Um, I love this calendar. It's a still life calendar. And I think they are still available on her shop. If you want to grab them, I will tag her below. In this gallery wall, if I just start at the bottom and work my way around. So this is a piece that I did. Um, this is sea glass, which I um, collected off of St. Ives Beach. And I just um, did a watercolour over the top and made them into plan pots. Now, this is a card that I got given by a friend. Um, it didn't have the artist's name on the back, but it looks a lot like, I think it's Splatterworks. I will tag her below the, co the company I'm thinking of. If it's not her, it looks very similar to her work, and I love her work. Um, I love squirrels in general. As again, you probably know by now, because we have squirrels that live behind our house and visit our garden every day. So that's why I've got this little squirrel piece here. Although ours are grey squirrels, this is a red squirrel. Um, but I will tag um, her below. If this is not her work, like I said, her work's very similar. So I will tag that. Um, just framed one of Lee Ellickson's prints here. As you know by now, a massive Lee Ellickson fan. There's another one of Lee's. And there's that print I got from Katie Moody that I got for Christmas from Stephen. And up here, that is just a little print that I did. It's a watercolour. And I tried sending it off to get an actual print of it done. Like I said, I'm trying to experiment what prints look like. So that's one that I did. Um, another one of mine, that's just um, another one of those postcards. Um, used. I used watercolours and watercolour pencils for that. Um, again, another one of Lee Alexson. And up there, that's just a C.S. Lewis postcard. So a C.S. Lewis illustration. This one is mine again. This is some lemons that I've done with watercolour. And this is Apple Cheeks, one of her Patreon postcards. This one I think you've seen before. This is just a charcoal drawing that I did last summer. In the middle, we have a piece that I did. It was a bit of an experimental piece. When we moved in, there was a gap in our living room on the wall that we couldn't find a picture for at the time. So I just used one of my old canvases used a tester pot of 
pink dusty pink paint I did some gold leaf over the top I quite like the effect that it did um not quite sure I was it's the first time I used gold leaf so I didn't really know how it's going to turn out but it looks quite cool um down here this is a donkey that I'm currently sponsoring from a donkey sanctuary called Drizzle um apple cheeks um patreon postcard and then a plum plumbella print that i got for christmas um you can get that from luna isle so i will tag all of these but um yeah i love how this wall looks and it gives a really great focus to the room um i won't focus too much on the rest of the room because it's not that interesting to be, to be fair um but down behind here we have some of my old canvases and also my big pieces from college um, I hope to show that maybe in a YouTube short, just to give um, a little bit of a glimpse of my big pieces. Obviously, I've done a college sketchbook tour, but they're obviously big pieces that sketchbooks work towards. Um, this is that sideboard. So I've got in here, I've got all my different art supplies. Um, I won't open it because it's quite big. Um, but I've got loads of um, reference books in there and art books and other bits and bobs. Just a few knickknacks up here. I want to try and keep this, the aim was to try and keep this quite clear because obviously with the window, this is where I want to hope to take most of my product photos. But that hasn't worked out as yet. But don't my Pokemon plants look so cute here? Um, this is a bottle that I decorated and I drew on these little bees and put some fairy lights in them. It looks quite cool at night. Um, but uh, yeah, I just left it there for now. Um, and then here's my computer desk. Um, candle I got for Christmas. This, um, I'm going to show you this big mouse pad. Look how cool this is. I got this from Wish and it was like something ridiculous, like three quid or something. Really not very expensive at all. Maybe even less than that. You know what Wish is like? I love Wish, but you have to expect that it probably won't be great quality and it'll probably take three months to get to you, but it saves you a ton of money. Um, and my little... Diamante mask. I've had this for years. I got it from Next, but it was literally like 10 years ago. But I love him. And I do have an old-fashioned iPod. That is how old I am. So it's my little speaker there. And a little duck, which was a Christmas ornament, but I keep him all year round. And this is a hot water bottle bean bag because I do get quite cold. My mum got me that one for Christmas. Um, oh, this is just a I can't even remember where I got that from. Again, that's been years. And this is a heart that Steve and I made during lockdown. Do you remember when we had to go out and do our daily exercise? Well, we carry, um, we collected twigs on our daily exercise. And then we uh, mounted them, well, Stephen mounted them on an MDF board that we cut, cut into a shape of a heart. And then we spray painted it. It's like a little reminder of lockdown. Doesn't that feel like a dream now? Um, but yeah, so that is a quick overview of my new art studio so thanks for watching guys um a bit of a kind of a weird vlog um i hope it was interesting I, again i'm not quite sure what the footage is going to come out like um but i did want to document moving from the shed outside into here um even if it's just for my own kind of memory of when i moved in um again it's a bit more cluttered than what i would like so hopefully i'll do an updated studio vlog in a couple of months once i've settled in um but now i'm in this studio the plan is now to start trying to find out what kind of art i want to make and start making that art into saleable products so in the coming videos that's what you'll see me do um this really is kind of a channel for watching me start my um business from scratch um I, like I said, I have no products at the moment whatsoever. Um, so you'll see me trying to draw and see me scanning those in and sending off a product. So hopefully that'll be quite interesting. Again, if nothing else, it's a good record for me of my journey, hopefully to becoming um, a full-time artist. So these baby steps at the start. Um, so I will see you in the next one. Please hit the um, notification bell so that you know when the next video is coming out. Um, Please give it a like if you liked it and subscribe um, so you can stay up to date with my journey um, and also comment below please comment um, if you're a local artist in the southwest of England or anywhere in the world and um, it's great to have international friends as well um, but let's try and create a little community to cheer each other on and if you've got any tips for having a um, home art studio or just starting a business in general what what advice would you have wished somebody had told you um, because I am very humble about this I know that I know nothing 
I know that I know nothing. Um, so I'm excited for the journey, but equally, if you could give me any advice, more than willing to take that. So um, thank you. God bless. Love you. Bye. Thank you.